Her cookbook, her new cookbook, Trisha's Kitchen, easy comfort food for friends and family is out now. It is filled with 125 comfort food recipes peppered with family stories and of course, photos. We love the photos. And Trisha joins us this morning from her kitchen in Nashville. Trisha, good morning. Good morning, how are you guys? Bianca, oh, that, that, that's a nice not city kitchen. No, no, that, right? that's, that's actually, like we've got room. There's space to cook. In a real home. Yeah. A real. Yeah, and yes, yeah, so I don't have my clothes in the, in the oven there. <laughs> there you go, exactly. Right, right. You no, were listening she, earlier. Because she that's uses funny. her oven. Yeah, she uses the oven, right. We got a real chef here. All right, so, I mean, you know, it's it's been a crazy year and a half. So, certainly a lot of people have turned their attention inward into the kitchen, mm. cooking, if you weren't someone who was into that beforehand, maybe you rediscovered. I'm just curious, sort of, the feedback you get. Uh, from people who are saying, hey, you know what? I hadn't really cooked that much. Now I'm into it. Give me some ideas. I love it because, you know, I've always encouraged people to cook. And when I first started cooking myself, in my, I was a late bloomer, kind of like early 20s. Mm -hmm. I, um, I really just wanted to be able to feed myself, you know, and then I missed home because I'd moved to Nashville. My family was in Georgia. Mm. And so I, I love that. I mean, I hate that we had to learn all how to learn how to cook because we were all in lockdown. Mm -hmm. But I do like that um, it's, a, it's a sense of accomplishment. And for me, it's really therapeutic. So I really enjoyed cooking and maybe that's why the cookbook got written during that time because I was home every day and I was really it was it was just a good thing for me to do it's a good thing to focus on All right you've been a New York Times bestselling author of three cookbooks but you know there's a creative side of you when you come to these uh, recipes like some very interesting ones give us some of your favorites that we kind of can look forward to in this new cookbook um, I like to take classic recipes and kind of think of how to how to twist them into something else. One of my favorite things in this book is a chicken pot pie burger, and it's a basically tastes like my mom's chicken pot pie, but you put all the vegetables and in, into the into the chicken, the ground chicken, and make the burger and uh, and make a gravy for oh, it, and it wow. tastes just like chicken pot pie, but it's it's a burger. So that kind of stuff. Um, one night I went to bed and was like, I wonder if I could figure out what's inside the Oreo and put it between two pieces of brownie. Um, that's oh. one of my go-tos. People like that one. Um, so I am um, dying. Just Trisha, you're killing our post-COVID oh diets God. right now. <laughs> well, you don't eat it every day, right? That's you the just, key. You have no, you're that, right. And then you have like a grape the next day, and you're you're balanced. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. You gotta you gotta pick your battles for sure. That is definitely true. All right, so I understand you've got a donut recipe set up and ready to walk us through that. Why don't we do that? Yeah, I, this is really something that's really simple. And I, um, somebody asked me yesterday, do you have something for kids to do? And this is a really good recipe to do with your kids. You can make a, a, a fresh homemade donut, which uh, there's a recipe in the book for, but you can also, if you're not feeling that, you can buy um, just plain donuts at the store and that's totally acceptable. No judgment from me mm -hmm. on that. Um, and you make a really simple glaze that's just powdered sugar and liquid coconut oil. That'll help the, that'll help this frosting dry on the, on the donut. Mm -hmm. And then food coloring and you just kind of squirrel it through if you have those little coffee oh, sticks um, the, or back of a spoon to stir up whatever colors you want and then you take your donut and you just dip it in to the glaze and kind of swirl it and you'll get a different one every time and I name these galaxy donuts just because I, I love the I love the kind of psychedelic swirl that it makes. Yeah, it's, it's almost it's almost like a, like a tie dye T shirt, as you said. Everyone's exactly. different. Exactly. Right? And then and then edible glitter is now a thing. Don't buy glitter at a craft store. It's <laughs> okay. not edible. Right. Not at um, Michael's. Go no. to go to the go to the That's supermarket. That's for kids and adults. But they make really cute edible glitter now. These are little stars. So they're just you know decorate it with what you want and and let your kids um, decorate it with what they want. That so is it's, super it's cute. just a fun thing and easy. We you, love that. And what's you yeah. know what's the what's the prognosis for getting back out on the road? I know it's tough out there. You know, COVID's not over. We're seeing artists get sick every day. It seems even you know fully vaccinated. What's the on the long term horizon? When do you think you're going to re pursue getting back out on the road? I think for Garth and myself, it's uh, an overabundance of caution. Mm -hmm. We just want everybody to be safe, and we want to hopefully get to a place where there are more people vaccinated than not, so we can all go to a show and enjoy ourselves and not yeah. be worrying about all those things. And I think that's a little ways off, but I think we'll get there. Um, but just to just. I, w I would say being overly cautious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and we'll and we'll get there. I really do believe we'll get there. Yeah. Now I do have to ask you and Garth have been married for 15 years, so we want to know the ultimate recipe for a successful marriage. Well, you know, if you cook for your husband, he's happy. <laughs> just, just, let's just stop there. Um, Trish, you make us sound so simple. <laughs> 
Um, but Garth really likes, you know, he likes everything in one dish. He likes a hearty meal. So mm -hmm. like an example, I was getting ready to write, I think it was the second cookbook. And he said, I love your lasagna, but can you just put more stuff in it? So uh, <laughs> cowboy lasagna was born and it's just mm -hmm. got a lot more stuff. You know, yeah. in it. Um, and so, you know, lasagnas, casseroles, that's, that's kind of his, his go-to. He's, He's not picky, but he is honest. So if I'm mm. working on a recipe and right. I ask him to try it, he'll tell me if he thinks it yeah. needs a little something. something. I, I think that's how Steve, I am with my wife. Too. That's how I am with my wife too. Like, <laughs> she'll work and work. I'm like, ah, I don't really like it, but I tend to like it. <laughs> so that's the good that. news. O -o -o Overwhelmingly, <laughs> I do. So that's great. Trisha oh, Yearwood, what a thrill talking to you. That's fantastic. Yes. Give us the name of the new cookbook one more time. It's called Trisha's Kitchen. All right. And uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Oh, she's making and us hungry. This is it. I'm real hungry. Yeah. Need some donuts, it's a struggle eating right on lasagna. this uh, schedule yeah. to begin with. Now we <laughs> get those donuts. I'll overnight you a donut. You'll be fine. All We'd right. Appreciate Very it. good. We appreciate it. Thanks, Trish. Thank you, guys.